Hello. Everybody. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we wanted to talk about what's the deal with doing, doing and all the time. Doing all the time. And most people are doing things they don't want to be doing. Yeah. That doesn't produce anything that is of any actual necessity or value. They're just doing. So because we, we've been taught that yeah. doing is is the best <clears throat> thing you can do. Then it's you the, uh, the way to salvation. Yeah, you you prove your worth. You, yeah, you prove. Um, that you're worthy of existence. Mm. It's a deep one, and that's why um, we are so uh, conditioned to it, or, or addicted to it. Maybe addicted to it, even yeah. Mm. Because if we don't do, if we don't produce anything for society, we're told. Then we then are we're in, worthless, and we are invalid. So when I don't know if it's everywhere, but like in uh, in Denmark, the signs on many buses are like cars for handicaps says "invalidvogn," which means a car for the invalid. And in, we have an we have invalid, an in, daughter. invalid daughter. She will never produce anything of worth to this society, so she's not valued. Yeah, or maybe we should say it when we say society, it's the systems. Yeah, of the so value the, to the system. Yeah, the false society, not the true society. Yeah. Yeah, because. No matter how handicapped you are, you alive. will be of value to the true society. Because everyone who is in contact with you will learn something about life and themselves and connections mm. and how the machine work. And when I say machine, I mean the body. How everything works. So just by existing, you are creating value for the world, but not for the systems. So many people who have had near-death experiences come back and said that the encounters with the beings on the other side are guides, God, Jesus, whoever it is they meet on the other side. They're not being measured on what they do did or produced in life and that was not the plan that was not why they came into this earthly existence it was to be so just you by being here right now sitting here listening to us or what whatever else you're doing doing the dishes doing the dishes you are having a transformative effect on all systems and I've been shown like when I've been meditating deeply that many of us have just been put into this existence now as anchors for the light to come in and make these grits to uplift the whole thing so that we together can dispel all this darkness that has been reigning here for yeah. many, many years. We've been distracted for hundreds of years, if not more, yeah. with with the premise of, of doing. Mm. And <clears throat> it's been put into our religions. Especially the yeah. Christian Protestant. Yeah religion yeah and my parents weren't uh, religious at all and my mother she likes to go to church once in a while but mostly for the concerts mm. and my dad never went to church except for when we were 
a Chris is called Chris christened mm -hmm. and my sister got married uh, but they were both people who worked themselves into the ground every day and they never allowed themselves to to sleep uh, during the day if they were tired when they came home from work they would continue working on their small farm they had so i rarely saw my dad he was always outside working uh, and my mom uh, she would do a lot of volunteer work and she would do a lot of good work mm -hmm. too. Um, but yeah so i've I've been growing up being taught that I need to be active and produce something all the time. So what are you doing? You need to do something. Mm. And so I felt lazy. I felt good for nothing. And, and, and lazy and too tired and wrong. And, and it was not enough just being me. Mm. So I, as a child, I needed to do something. I need to go to school and I need to, when I was uh, home from school, I need to draw or I need to go outside and, and, and play something. <laughs> I, need to, I needed to do something, right? Homework. Yeah. yeah. And, and for the past eight months, uh, we've, been, we've been traveling um, and I haven't been doing much. I've been taking care of the kids. I've been cooking dinners. I've been helping uh, the people we've been staying with, mending their clothes, uh, teaching their kids English, um, just being there. So I can feel, I, I still can feel uh, a bit of guilt and shame that I don't have a real job and and I don't produce anything but I know that I do not want to contri contribute to the systems anymore I would love and I I do love contributing to the true society helping people um, making all the interviews mm. we're doing um, helping people along the way but doing all the evil work for the the fake society I will not do that anymore I have been doing that we all, we all have we've all been doing that yeah but we need to starve the systems yeah we need to unplug from the system and and starve it to death whilst we create a new and better world yeah. for everyone. Yeah, and uh, some weeks ago I woke up during the night and I could hear two sentences in my head. And usually when I wake up I can't remember what I've been dreaming or it's very blurry or it, it won't make sense. But these two sentences stood very clear and they still do. The first one was, if you could see and recognize the devil, would you stop working for him? And if you could see and recognize God, would you start working for him? Hmm. And I've been thinking a lot about that. Sorry. Because if I went to uh, one of the the offices where people from the systems are working and I would ask that question if you could see and recognize the devil would you stop working for him what would their answer be first of all I don't think they would recognize but if if they did if they suddenly realized that they, they were working for the devil because they are traumatizing people all day every day mm. even though that is not what they want that's not why they got the education, but now yeah. they have become part of the system, and the system yeah. uh, does is, this. Is, is forcing them to 
traumatizing uh, families, people every day. But would they stop doing it if they could see that was what they're doing? And I think most people still would say no because of the money. Well, we can see that with everything that's been going on for the last two years, speaking here in 2022, that people have been doing many things because of what was expected of them for the, from their work or something else. A lot of things, not just the thing in the arm, but a lot of other things they have been doing because the system told them to. Yep. to stay separate from their loved ones, to uh, put a cover across their face that has no basis in anything real. Many things have been done that had no has and no benefit. No, and, 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 and people agreed to traumatize millions of children. Mm because the system told them to the and it's because people confuse the system with society that is not the same no everyone wants to help each other in the society so we need to discern right now what is society and what is the system and what is helping and what is traumatizing but because we did not help anyone during the past two years but we did a lot of traumatizing hmm. because the system told us to. Yeah, none of the measures put in place by the system actually did anything of benefit. Not a, th a single thing. But everything, almost everything did tremendous harm. Yeah. But, ev but a lot of people realize that Yeah. because it, it got so bad that people said wait a minute this can't be true mm. I, do, I do not want to be a part of this I don't want to traumatize my children or old people or anyone on purpose I want to do something else I want to create something else and and we are we, we realized because of our daughter, because she is invalid, and the system told us that uh, she is invalid, and that everything is based on traumatizing. So we woke up, and it, 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 I, st I still have a thing with that word, but it feels like waking up. It feels like you're waking up from a dream and suddenly you can see what is real right in front of you and you couldn't see it before. Mm. So suddenly, after many years in the system, we saw what it was doing to us on purpose. On purpose. Mm. They wanted to break us, to get us to be in a certain way and do things in a certain way and live a life in a certain way to to be kind of worthy of the help we needed. Yeah. So a lot of good things have, have come from this because it, it got so bad. And we see yeah. a lot of good things still. And it's snowballing. It's, big, it's bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger projects that are yeah coming to fruition now or, or, or starting so that's that's good it's all good so the question is are you doing <laughs> or are you being and if you're doing a lot are you helping people yeah or are you hurting people and you need to look at this very carefully and be totally honest with yourself. And if you come to the conclusion that you are mostly hurting people, then ask yourself if you want to continue doing that or you want to do something else. So most of us 
when we are in a position a job that is actually harming the greater good we tell ourselves these stories so for instance we once knew a advertisement executive he used to be a good friend of ours and and he had managed to convince himself that because of the way he was doing advertisement that he was working for the greater good because his way of, of doing things wasn't as bad as everyone else but he was still working for the devil like he was sell, helping to make palatable to consume detrimental products of many different kinds financial uh, I assume food as well yeah. but he could convince himself that he was doing good and uh, I was working as a, a, a tour guide and some of the practices that were put in place like most of what I a lot of what I did was was good like showing people all these beautiful places but there were all these other things that we were doing uh, where people were sort of not forced but like made to uh, buy stuff they didn't need in underhanded ways and things like that and I could convince myself that that was okay because everyone else was doing it and what was the harm and blah 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 so we can convince ourselves we're doing yeah. things that are good when they're actually bad yeah. so when you take a look and, or if you sit and feel into what you're doing don't explain away things just go with the first instinct is this right is this wrong and then if you find out it's wrong then then you can start to work how to transition out of it yeah and just yeah think about if all the soldiers in the world everyone in the military said no i will no longer fight wars because old crazy men are telling me to yeah it's not their wars yeah. they're just the instruments that are being used that's not honorable that is killing people <laughs> because other people tell you to. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if a handful of evil people wants everyone erased from the face of the earth. That doesn't matter. They can scream and shout all they want. It yeah. is, it's us yeah. who are doing it for them. And we're doing it to each other. And if we stop doing it to each other, the world is going to change to be a very, very beautiful place very, very yeah. fast. Because 90% of people are good and kind. There are psychopaths and sociopaths out there. We know plenty of them. Yeah. But there are maybe 15%. Maybe less. So so it doesn't it doesn't matter they have no power except the power that we're giving them yeah so imagine if everyone in the military said no we don't want to fight your wars anymore mm. there would be no wars on a, a big scale people would still disagree but it will not escalate to a war how good is that yeah. that's uh, that's amazing that's a world we can all want yeah so yeah take a moment or take as many moments as you need and think about what are you doing what are you being yeah. and who are you working for yeah and Johnny be good and <laughs> Johnny be good what's that that's a song yeah Johnny be good yeah. it's Okay. Yeah. <laughs> go, go. And on that note. Go, no. Jenny. Go, go, go. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. All right. Bye.